Today is August 20th, 2013, and this is uh, year six of the video diaries of the girdle movements. I want to say a couple things before I get up. I moved uh, to an apartment about a year ago, so it's all on one floor, one level, and I don't have to do stairs. So I'm going to be going back to my parents' house in a couple days, and I'm going to do some videos back there to see how my stair climbing is and if I can get around uh, that house. So I'll upload those videos as well to see, you know, after a year of not doing it, does it really make a difference? So before I get also before I get started doing this, uh, getting up from the table, I want to say that uh, using this belt has been really the most important thing that I've done, uh, used over the last year. This helps me to not only sit down but to also get up. I don't have enough um, strength in my muscle, in my leg muscles, to hold my legs still. Without the belt, it'll just fly open and uh, I'll fall to the ground when I try to throw myself forward, as you'll see in a few, in a few minutes here. Uh, the belt here, you know, this serves as keeping the legs uh, in, in this position so that I can push up against it and have the strength to get myself up. So if I didn't have this belt, I wouldn't be able to do this movement. Uh, as you can see, the table is in a different setting from my parents' house, and so I have to use a different, um, a different technique. One of the things that's really important I found in getting up is that I have to put this arm almost elbow directly up in the air, either with, um, with my palm facing down or on top of my or on my fingertips, that gives me enough strength to, to, to help push my upper body up um, onto the table. And then, of course, it's just all about managing my upper weight on the table, so I can not only move my legs but also get my arms into position to uh, push up once I get there. In a couple of the videos in years past, you'll have seen uh, I had either long sleeve shirt on that I used to pull. Um, um, my, myself up or I had a wristband over the years it seems that you know I find these techniques out it's not that I sit down and think about it it just kind of happens and so this year I um, just basically use my fingers around my wrist to help pull myself up and so I just kind of grab the wrist and just use that to pull myself up uh, I don't have enough strength in my arms to get to this position by just pushing so I need to use kind of um, locking my arms and then just using momentum, just kind of swing myself back and forth until I can get um, my, my upper body in a higher position. And then my legs are a little bit closer together. So I'm still, I still have enough strength in my fingertips to get up on them and to uh, push myself up to a standing position. Now where I can get kind of tricky is, you know, having a belt on. I have to hold on to the belt while I kind of... Um, shimmy my weight back and forth from the left foot to the right foot until I'm standing up. So now that I'm standing up, I want to show you how important this belt is in sitting down. Um, I've been doing this belt, I, I mean, I came up with this, this idea about four years, four or five years ago, but I, it's only within the last year or two that I really need to use the belt to sit down. So I just put the, uh, the belt around, halfway around my thighs, and then just sit down. It looks very violent, but it's it's... The belt prevents the legs from flying open, and then I, I can just sit down real nice and easy in the chair. So, this is uh, the beginning of 2013 videos, and so I thank you for watching.